Okay, so we have a total of two different videos uploaded today at this time because one is for the Galaxy S22 series of smartphones which is this video that you are watching and then the second one is for the Galaxy Tab S8 series of tablets. So without further ado, let's just go straight into it and talk about the S22 in this video right here. So during our briefing for the Galaxy S22 series, we don't really have that much time. It's a total of two hours only and we only got like slightly more than an hour for actually getting our hands on the device itself. So we'll start by talking about the Galaxy S22 Ultra first. So as you can see here, the Galaxy S22 Ultra is literally the Galaxy Note series but they are now calling it the S22 Ultra. Which makes sense since the Galaxy Note series just used to be the Galaxy S series but in a different design and with the S Pen inside the body, it just makes sense to integrate both of these devices into one single series. So the Galaxy S22 Ultra is available in a total of 4 different colours. So we have Phantom White, Phantom Black and 2 new colours here which is the green and also the burgundy colour. All of them are in matte finish which is amazing and personally, I would have to say the green colour looks the best here because I personally just like this kind of turquoise tealish kind of emerald colour phones and this new S22 series of green colour is kind of similar to the S10's prism green. So the Galaxy S22 Ultra has something called armour aluminium which I think is supposed to provide even more rigidity and then both the front and back glasses are covered by Corning Gorilla Glass Victors Plus. And then the Galaxy S22 Ultra is also using a very aptly named 4 nanometer processor which is actually getting Snapdragon here in Malaysia. It's kind of disappointing actually. Exynos is finally getting better with the 2100 and now the 2200 with AMD GPU. But for some reason we are getting the overheating chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And since the Galaxy S22 Ultra is literally a Galaxy Note, we now have a silo in the phone to house that S Pen inside the phone itself. So no more accessories or funky looking cases just to carry the S Pen around. And there's another collaboration done with Lamy. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce the name. Lamy? Lamy? They're well known for their pens and Samsung is collaborating with them to create this pen right here. So this pen is able to convert between an S Pen or a ballpoint pen. That's really nice actually. But even with some space taken up by the S Pen slot itself, the Galaxy S22 Ultra still comes with a 5000mAh battery which I think is amazing. And this S Pen also decreases latency down from 9ms to only 2.8ms and that is also thanks to something called the AI-based coordinate prediction technology and also Wacom's new hardware. Other new features including handwriting to text conversion is now supported up to 88 different languages which is more than 12 compared to the previous version and there's also something called collaboration view which is for multi-device connectivity so one of the example they showed was to use the Galaxy S22 Ultra screen to become a color palette while you are drawing on the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra it's kind of nice to see Samsung giving this kind of ecosystem how do you say this value or user enhancement kind of situation going on as for the cameras, the Galaxy S22 Ultra now comes with an upgraded main sensor camera so it's now bigger than before and then we now have both Pro Mode and also downloadable Expert RAW Mode which is found in the Galaxy S21 Ultra. The Expert RAW app came like a few months ago for the Galaxy S21 Ultra and I had a lot of fun with that app. So it's also nice to see that the Expert RAW app is also coming to the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And Samsung is also collaborating with Snapchat so there's native super resolution and night mode within the Snapchat app itself and within the native camera app in the Galaxy S22 Ultra we now have AI based autofocus, super steady system even in the dark and then we also have super HDR, auto frame rate to reduce flickering and whatnot and there are a lot of focus in night shots this time around so we have to get our hands in that device before we can further give any comments about it. And then for portrait pictures, there's now a brand new feature to literally map all the contours and curvatures of your face and then you can add artificial lights in post and then it will look as though the light was there when you took the shot. That's kind of interesting as well and we are looking forward to test that as well. And this new portrait picture mode is doable on both humans and pets alike. 
I quickly want to talk about one accessory that Samsung also released in tandem with the Galaxy S22 series which is this accessory. I don't know how to describe this but you can mount your phone into this caddy here and then you can mount whatever professional grade camera filters in front of it. So for this example here we have an ND filter but of course you can mount your own UV filter, uh, polarizer something like that. You can do that because it's using a standard 72mm diameter lens filter. I also want to quickly highlight about the camera bump on the Galaxy S22 Ultra because it's kind of the same thickness with the Galaxy S21 Ultra but for some reason it just feels like it's not so big. And as mentioned earlier, the battery of the Galaxy S22 Ultra is the same as before, 5000mAh battery but the wired charging speed is now back up to 45 watts. so we'll have a full test of that when we get our hands on the device. And now for the Galaxy S22 and the Galaxy S22 Plus. Both of these phones are now flat for both the front and the back piece. And they are pretty much the same design as last year as well but it now comes in a total of 4 different colours. So we got Phantom White, Phantom Black, the new green colour which I really like and then there's also another one called Pink Gold. Not too sure what this colour is because I haven't set my eyes on that colour before. Or maybe I did, I'll just show you a picture right here. All of them are made out of matte finish and they are also having that armor aluminium frame and also covered by Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. And in terms of specs, there are a few changes here and there for both the Galaxy S22 and the S22 Plus. The camera got tweaked a little so the rear facing cameras are now 50 megapixels for the main camera, 12 megapixels wide, 10 megapixels telephoto with 3x optical zoom which is kind of similar to the Galaxy A72. But both the Galaxy S22 and the S22 Plus got a downgrade in terms of its battery capacity so the S22 is now 3700mAh battery whereby the S22 Plus is 4500mAh battery. Honestly, I do consider the S21's 4000mAh battery to be the bare minimum so I need to find out how's the battery life on the Galaxy S22 with the 3700mAh battery. Oh, in terms of the charging speed, only the Galaxy S22 Plus is getting 45 watts, whereby the Galaxy S22 only gets 25 watts of wired charging. And the sizes of all these three phones starts from 6.1 inch, 6.6 inch for the S22 Plus, and also 6.8 inch for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Honestly speaking, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, even though that 6.8 inch screen sounds like it's humongous, and it is, it feels very comfortable thanks to the two sides that curves like a I don't know how to call this but it's like a flattened cylinder I, I don't know how to describe it but but it feels real nice on my hands and one important thing that I want to highlight though is of course the software side of things because according to leaks and rumors the Galaxy S22 series is getting four years of upgrades and five years of security patches I have confirmed this with the local team here and they say yes, that is indeed true. So that's, that's just amazing. I mean, four years of updates means that Samsung is literally spearheading what updates should be for Android smartphones. That's amazing. And Samsung is also using discarded fishing nets in some of the parts for the phones. So that's good. The packaging is also thinner than before and it's made of 100% recycled paper right now and all of the cases wrapping is now wrapped in paper and they are UL35 certified as well. And overall, I think that's all we have for the Galaxy S22 preview. Of course, this is just a very quick rundown of what's available for all three phones. When we get our hands on that device, we will definitely do a lot more in-depth testing. So stay subscribed and we'll definitely make a lot more videos with that phone. So yeah, we'll see you there and hope you have a nice day.